Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm here with another challenge. As you know or don't know, uh, I have made a challenge for myself to make uh, to solve a coding challenge every morning and also record a video about it for my channel. Now this morning, due to some circumstances, I was not able to, but sticking to trying to record one and solve one every day. I'm making one later in the day. This one is called filter out strings from an array and obviously I'm solving more of the easy ones so people that are newer to new to JavaScript have an easier time understanding them and it says create a function that takes an array of non-negative integers and strings so you have integers and strings and returns a new array without the strings right so uh, given this array you will just return one and two removing the strings and so on right it says zero is a non-negative integer not that this matter to us because we're just going to put our strings and a few other things that we can have a look at because i'm going to link this in the description of the video uh, so uh, basically you have to filter out the strings out of the array okay i'm going to copy the starting Code into Visual Studio Code, and what we're going to do, we're going to say, we're going to use the filter method. Uh, filter method is a method on arrays, and I will link here the method. I have a video about it. If you don't know how to use it, because I won't explain it in detail here, but if you don't know how to use the filter method, check it out here. The video where I explain it, like in, in detail. Uh, and we're going to uh, try and um, uh, we're going to try and uh, filter out. Uh, so basically, we're going to filter only for the elements that are numbers, not strings. Well, for whatever, for for all the elements beside the strings. So we're going to say return array filter, and uh, it gets this parameter element. And we're going to say it's going to return uh, to only is going to return um, uh, into it's going to return the element into the filter array only if the element is not a string. So we're going to say type of. And if you don't know what type of is, there's an operator and. Is it an operator? It is an operator, right? And I'm going to make a. Um, <laughs> I'm going to make a, a. Well, I'm not going to make. I already made a video about it, I think. Um, and I'm going to uh, post a link here, right? Uh, how to use it. But anyway, basically, you can use it on any variable and it tells you the type of the variable. So we're going to say type of element is different. So it shouldn't be equals to string. So we want to return in the filter array only the elements for which this condition is true. Type of element is not string, right? So let's copy this. Put it in here. This always takes so long. Why is this? Um, yeah, so um, it's uh, it all, all of them are passing. All the tests are passing. So yeah, remember type of element different than string and filter. I linked both videos if you don't know how to use them. All right, see you next time. Bye bye for now.